We were very pleased to receive at the archives two very significant donations. One, one of the donations is a diary from Cyrus Forwood. Cyrus Forwood was a Delawarean who fought in the American uh, Civil War and for a two-year period, a little bit more than a two-year period, two and a half year period, he scripted into a diary his daily life. Um, what he saw in battle, what his feelings were, his feelings of loneliness, um, his feelings of what we ate and my sicknesses. And we have now been able to move forward with a social media format where we're tweeting that information on a daily basis. And we have many, many people that are following that tweets because they're interested in, in following what, what happened there. There's one really critical um, entry there that, that we noted was he was, Abraham Lincoln had been visiting his troop section and he was so sick that he couldn't even come out of the tent just to see the president at that time. And that makes you feel, you know how sick this individual were, um, was. Second donation came in May of, of this year. It was approximately 70 letters um, from a soldier from Delaware, uh, written to his wife, Harriet. The soldier's name was Sergeant Stephen Buxton. And in those letters, again, he's talking about battle. He's talking about daily life in, in the service. But he's also talking about his isolation, his feelings of loneliness. And his letters were so poignant that he always ended the letters with, till death do us part. Regrettably, he was killed in action in 1864. Um, and that leads us to our current collections of Vietnam letters. We have over 900 letters in that particular, um, what we call a small manuscript collection. And when you begin to look at themes of battle, themes of war and how it's affecting the military, you see those same themes coming through. It's just a different battle. Um, so what you can get from that as a researcher, there are primary source documents that you can begin to your, do your research. But what you can also get from a public interest point of view is seeing something really written at that time expressing the feelings of the individual who was actually writing those particular words. And you have the, those 98 letters from Sergeant Buxton in a digital format as well? Absolutely. It's, it's primarily important that we as an archives make our materials accessible. So what we've done is the, the approximately 70 letters from Sergeant Buxton collection we have digitized and are available on our website for people to view. Um, and both the uh, diary and the Buxton letters were done in unison with our overall strategy in the uh, commemoration of the sesquicentennial anniversary of the American Civil War. This archives here, the Delaware Public Archives, has digitized all of its American Civil War collection onto the archives, over 23 cubic feet, that include not just uh, letters and documents, but also photographs and other types of ephemera as it relates to the American Civil War.